Hey there, Miata fans. This is Greg, and today I want to talk to you about a specific challenge I'm having while replacing the timing belt and water pump on my NB Miata. It's the housing here that holds the thermostat in place and connects right to the engine block. In retrospect, I would recommend not removing this, but as the kit I purchased came with a new O-ring, I figured it would be a good idea to do so, and I've had a lot of challenges with the O-ring that was supplied in the kit. As you can see, the one that came on the car here is all rusty and crusty and needs to be replaced. Um, and the O-ring that came with the kit didn't quite fit. I'm going to head over to the workbench and we're going to pick it up from there and talk about the O-ring that came in the kit and different options on what is the best solution to solve this challenge. All right, here we are on the workbench. Um, you can see the part that came off the car. There's a lot of uh, crustiness in there. I've cleaned that up fairly well, but I probably could have done a better job with that. We can see the O-ring that came out of the car is definitely caked in uh, crust. And these are the O-rings that we have to look at today. So this one here came in the kit I purchased. Uh, this one here came in a kit a friend of mine purchased and I've tried. And this one here came directly from Mazda. Now the first thing I'll note about these is the rubber on this one feels different um, than the rubber on the other two feel. I can't exactly describe how it's different, but it definitely feels like different rubber. Um, and then the last option we have here is this X1 that came from Miata Roadster. Um, and this one is a different type of rubber. Let's see if we can get a good picture of it. But it also has this X pattern on it um, that works a little bit differently than the other gaskets. We're going to talk about that one in a second. So the problem I ran into, um, that's fun. The problem I ran into when attempting to get these on here. So let's take our gasket here. This is the one that came in the kit. And we're going to drop that in there. Let's see if we can get this to fit perfectly. So the problem I ran into is no matter what I did, when I tried to get this O-ring in, it doesn't fit in perfectly. And you can squish it in there, um, but it's going to pop out like that. So no matter what I did, trying to get this O-ring in there perfectly just wouldn't fit. Um, I thought it might be the O-ring I got was bad, so I tried an O-ring from my buddy's kit. He did not replace his, smartly. Um, and this doesn't fit either. You can see that there's that gap there. When you try and get the O-ring in place, it's not going to fit correctly. Um, so then we get the O-ring that came with the kit from... Um, Mazda, um, and this O-ring fits perfectly in that housing. There's no gap at all. That's going to be a great replacement part. Um, just three dollars from the local Miata store or the Mazda store. Then this is the X1 that came. So this one certainly will fit in here. It takes a little bit more effort to get that in. Um, this one will fit in correctly if you take a second or two and kind of work it around. The interesting thing about this one is it does sit up higher than the other O-rings. And I assume that's part of the X pattern um, that it's gonna get crushed in there once I tighten that down. Now, just being the OCD person I am and saying, you know, if I take this all apart and put it back together, it's gonna be really hard if I don't do this perfect. So I did purchase another housing um, from Mazda just to test out how this works. So let's start with the O-ring that came in the kit. So assuming I did the best job ever cleaning that housing, I'm still gonna have issues See if we can get it zoomed in perfectly. I'm still going to have issues with this where the O-ring, it just doesn't fit right. It just does not fit in that housing correctly. So that one doesn't fit. Um, you can squish it in there and you can get it to fit a little bit better. I guess in a perfect world that might work. I just don't feel comfortable with it. It seems to pop out whenever I uh, try and get it on the car. Um, and then we've got the one that came with uh, the part from directly from Mazda. And this one goes, this one goes right in there perfectly. Uh, so the last one to test out here is the X1 that came from we got a Roadster. This one fits in there perfectly. First try. It does stick up a little bit, but I assume when I tighten that down on the engine block, that's going to flatten out and that's going to fit pretty good. Now I had done some measuring with my caliper here to test the width of these bad boys. Um, and every one I've tested with the caliper, um, it appears to be the same width from my standpoint. I'm not a caliperologist, um, but it does seem that all of them are fairly, fairly similar. So my recommendation here is the one that comes with the kit will probably work if you do a really, really good job cleaning that. But I just didn't trust it. For three bucks, I was able to get one from the local Mazda dealer. It definitely feels different than the rest of them. Um, and then for $5, you can get the X1 from the kit from uh, Miata Roadster. So my goal here is I'm going to go with the new piece. 
and I'm going to go with the X1 from Miata Roadster. It's supposed to be a little bit better for temperature and sealing purposes. So there you go. This is the, uh, the part number here is B61P-15-106A. Um, same part number on all of these O-rings here. Every one of the O-rings is going to be the same part number, but both of them uh, are a little bit different depending on it if you get it from the kit or if you get it directly from Mazda. All right, last thing we're going to do here is uh, install the part with the O-ring we've chosen to go with, which is the X O-ring. I did hit that uh, stock piece there with a little brake cleaner to clean it up. Um, and then we are going to mount this on here and torque it down with the bolts that it came with. I can't hold the camera and do that, so I'll see you in one minute as we torque this bad boy down. So the last step in our journey is to torque that down. According to our guide here, this is the thermostat housing and cover bolts. It's gonna be 15 to 18 foot-pounds. My tiny little guys here is in inch-pounds, so we converted that. Um, and based on the way the cover fits on here, gotta use this little swivel and the adapter to get it on there. Again, it's hard to torque things with one hand while using the other hand with the camera. So I'm going to torque this down and then we'll be done with the project and that little delay won't stop us anymore.